Bring you greetings from the Uganda Martyrs. May we bring you greetings from their headquarters, Namugongo. To be here at, within the studios of Radio Maria Uganda. Yes. You know, Bishop Kakosa loves Radio Maria very much. Yes. And we use much of his music mm-hmm. here. Yeah. He's very meditational. Mm. And uh, whenever I meet him, one of the questions is how is Radio Maria? How is Radio Maria? <laughs> <laughs> I think are, he's a good listener. He's a good listener. Mm. Now let's look at the following. How Catholics behaved among members of other religions. That's great, Father. Or other denominations. Mm. Because now we, if we, we say religions, mm. Christianity is a religion. Mm. W- w- uh, among the world religions, mm. there is a Sikhism, there is Buddhism, there is Hinduism, there is Christianity, there is uh, and and others. Mm. So when we talk about religions, then we should take Christianity as a religion, and uh, Catholicism and Protestants as denominations. Oh, uh-huh. Catholicism. Because now, cas- yeah. the moment you talk about world religions, okay, then you will not have to mention uh, ca- Catholic as or a religion. Uh, it's a Christianity. Okay. Mm, like I've said, Hinduism, Islam, mm. Buddhism, Sikhism, Christianity, and, and what, what else have I forgotten? Yeah, and mm. others. Mm. Now, we shall say, how Catholics behaved among members of other beliefs. Mm. The Catholic pages had neither hatred nor grudge nor envy nor disgrace towards the members of other faiths. They did their best to be polite, trustworthy. Dear listener, mark this. They did their best to be polite, trustworthy, forgiving, merciful, patient, kind, and respectful to everybody. They Mm. were behaving as people of the same family, Mm. regardless of their different religious beliefs. They lived together in harmony, happy with others in their delights and consoling in their grief. They were giving good example and advice to one another in order to avoid spiritual as well as physical dangers, at the same time offering themselves for the good of the others, regardless of their differences in Mm. faith. To prove their behavior, let's look at some vivid examples. One, Mm -hmm. Bruno Serunkuma, a future Catholic martyr, and his cousin Alexander Kadoko, a future Protestant martyr, were very great friends. Whenever Sarunkuma left the palace for a short break from duty, he used to go direct to his cousin Alexander Kadoko in Kitebi for a brief rest and a chat on various topics in spite mm. of their religious differences. Mm. When King Mwanga II started the Christian persecution on both the Catholics and Protestants, Sarunko and Kadoko stood together and encouraged each other never to deny one's religion, one's faith, but rather to die for Christ. Two, you know, when you talk about one matter, you cannot avoid talking about another matter, mm. <laughs> one or two. I don't know, that's how Bruno Serunkuma is coming, leading us to the second point. Mm-hmm. Two, all the Christians, Catholics and Protestants, even though they belonged to different camps, had one common leader. At first it was Joseph Mukasabali Kutembi, the king's major domo, who was the leader of the Catholics as well as the Protestant pages. And he was such an effective leader that he managed to lead them till the end. But Kudemi was succeeded by another strong Catholic. Dear listener, who might be this one? Can you try to guess? Charles Rwanga. Mm. Charles Rwanga. 
succeeded Balikudembe. Balikudembe was succeeded by another Catholic, strong Catholic, Charles Rwanga, as the leader of Christian pages, both Catholics and Protestants. The Catholic leaders were guiding, directing, encouraging, and reminding each group to practice its faith according to its regulations and practices. Mm -hmm. And in Uganda we say, Mbulira go itana ye, Mbulira this. Aha. Now, you can easily, you can easily understand what Charles Rwanga was like mm -hmm. when you consider uh, the friendship, the relationship between Charles Rwanga and uh, the one he succeeded, mm -hmm. Joseph Mukasabali Kutembe. Remember, a friend in need is a friend indeed. A person can have no greater love than one who lays down one's life for his friend. Such was manifested by Joseph Mukasabali Kudembe, the leader of Christians and a proto-Catholic martyr, when he bravely gave his life to save the life of a Protestant missionary, Bishop Huntington mm. of the Church Missionary Society. Pleading with King Mwanga II to spare Bishop Huntington's life was one of the reasons why Balikudembe was killed. Though Balikudembe was certain that pleading for the sparing of the life of the Protestant bishop tantamounted to losing his own, still he went on to do whatever possible to save the life of the missionary of a different camp. In the meeting that condemned to death the Protestant missionary bishop who had come through the back door route to the king's palace, Balikudembe was absent and had no prior knowledge of it. He had led some prominent and enthusiastic Catholics to Tanganyika to congratulate their first bishop of Nyanza Vicariate, that's Uganda and part of northern Tanganyika, on being consecrated bishop. This is when one of the pictures you often see in which there are the martyrs and the would-be martyrs the photo of the 20 future Catholic martyrs, which appears very often, was miraculously taken at Bukumbi White Father's Mission. Mm. When Joseph Mukasabari Kudembe returned, he learned of the death sentence meted out to the innocent Protestant Bishop Huntington for having come via the back of the King's Palace, that, that's to say, Busoga. Mm. At that time, King Mwanga II had just ordered and sent his executioners to Busoga for the execution of the decision which had previously been taken. But Kudembe did his very best to have the king spare the life of Bishop Harrington, but all in vain. Finally, after some delaying tactics, the king, the Kapaka, said to Bal Kudembe scornfully, I allow you. But could tempt to, to run and stop my executioners from killing that Muzungu European. But I do not think that you will arrive before my dogs, that's executions, devour their prey. In fact, though Joseph Balikudembe was a fast runner, he could not make it, for it was the second day since the executioners had set out for Busoka to kill the missionary. Mm. But at least look at the hurt he used. Perhaps. One would wonder why Bishop Huntington's case of coming to Buganda via Busoga was considered a serious threat. It had historical connotations. From the time of King Indaula, that's between around 1700 and 1710, King Indaula, the 20th king of Buganda in the lineage of K uh, King Katokin II onwards, the king's official residential house, Twekobe, had to face the west with its back facing the east, mm. the side of Busoga. The East was considered by the Baganda mm. as the king's back. And any foreigner who happened to come to the palace via the East, that mm. Busoga, was taken to be a very dangerous element to the mm. king and to the hall of the Buganda kingdom. This was interpreted and stressed by some of the prominent Buganda priests and priestesses, Bakabona, mm. attached to the gods, Mukasa, Kibuka, Musisi, Kawumpuli, and others, who had already foretold that the greatest and most dangerous enemy to the king and the whole of Buganda would come from the east, and that is from Busoka. To prove this belief, when King Mwanga II was condemning his major Romo, but could tempt to death for mm. teaching and practicing Christianity, he furiously added, open quotes, you but could pleaded for that Muzungu, <laughs> who added, 
you pleaded for that Muzungu who came by the back route, which was very dangerous, and even abused me when you said that my father had not killed any white man, mm. but I wanted to do it. Close quotes. Mm-hmm. Now, Gertrude, yes, now the last two words. Mm. He, he abused me that my father had never killed a white man. You know, when Badukutembe was pleading for that Muzungu, he said, why should you kill that Muzungu, that okay. white man? <laughs> Even your father never killed, never killed a, a white man. Why should you do it? Mm. But who could dare say so? Mm. But could Dembe did. Mm. But could Dembe did. Mm. But also he said, he told him at least to go back. Mm. After the martyrdom of Joseph Mukasabali Kudembe, Charles Wanga was unanimously elected successor at Balukudembe as the head of Christians, mm. both Protestants and Catholics. Aha. But now we know, during the very week Joseph Mukasa Balukudembe died, mm. the very first women ever to be baptized here in Uganda were baptized. The very first women ever to be baptized. Oftentimes we talk about Paolo Narwandwa, mm. Petro Chononika Damulira, mm. Joseph Ruanga, and Leo Kadu. We are baptized on Holy Saturday, mm. on the 27th of March, March mm. 1880, at Nabulagala. Mm. And oftentimes we stop at that. Mm. But now, with all joy, considering what took place, at the time, Joseph Makasabad Kudembe, we can mention something regarding children and women. On the 14th of November, 1885, Mrs. Andrea Kagwa, whose name is Wa, but to Denakaziboy, gave birth to a baby girl. And that baby girl was baptized Maria the following day, mm. the 15th of November, 1885, on which day Joseph from Kasabad Kudembe mm. was martyred. martyred. Yes, the missionaries perhaps did this on realizing that many people were pestering for baptism and the times were dangerous. They never wanted the girl to be killed and unbaptized. Mm. The reason is not given us but indirectly or deducting from the source we have from Diba 1969 a Dean Uganda that's volume 3 mm. pages 60 and 61 we can come with that conclusion the times were difficult mm. otherwise the missionaries baptized people after a long time after a long preparation period now, Joseph Mukasabadu Kudembe has died, and uh, both wife and husband, Andrea Kagwa and his wife, in other words, ask for the baptism of their child, and uh, that child was baptized on the 15th of November, 1885, on the very day Joseph Mukasabadu Kudembe was killed. Sorry, I hope may remind me the name of the child. Maria Aluonya. Maria. Aluonya. Okay. Aluonya. Aluonya. Okay. Mm. Maria Aluonya. Aluonya. Mm. And we are saying that during the very week, many others, including women, started pestering for baptism, mm-hmm. lest they would die unbaptized. Mm. It was on the 19th of November, 1885, that the following were baptized. On the 19th of November, 1885, mm. just about four days after the death mm. of Joseph Mukasabali Kudem. Mm. The wife of Andrea Kagwa, the one whose child was baptized on the 15th of November, was baptized and given the name Claire Batude. Aha, and that is Claire Batude Nakazibwe. Mm. Another one was Eugenia Namirembe. And the third one was Monica. The second name is not given us. Mm. Uh Should somebody ask, when were the first children baptized in Uganda? The privileged. uh 14th of November. And the privileged, the privileged one was a a baby girl. 
daughter of Andrea Kagwa. <laughs> Andrea Kagwa. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh-huh. And now, should another question come? When were the first women in Uganda baptized? Uh-huh. The above are the three. And they were baptized on the 19th of November, 1885, uh, during the very week in which Joseph Mukasabali Kutembe was killed. Mm. Now, after baptizing that, and considering what I have said just minutes earlier, the Kabaka had stopped now, the speed he had started with, mm. and he had calmed down a bit, and the missionaries too also, he stopped, he stopped baptizing very quickly. Mm. Uh-huh. Don't you think that the, the analysis we made seconds ago it, it might be true? True. Because now the missionaries, uh, considering that the Kabaka's speed had lessened, they too lessened the speed on which they used to baptize people. Mm. Uh-huh. Thanks be to God for the gift of faith. I see you want uh-huh. to. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yes, Mukasa, yes, Mukasa, yes, Mukasa. <laughs> because the uh, king said you are mm, useful. You are useful. Mm, very useful. Yeah, he's the one who gave him that name. Uh-huh, you are, you are you useful. You are useful. After strangling that cobra. After, that's mm. when the name came about, uh-huh, Mukasa, you are, you, are, you are the useful because mm. you've saved my life and mm. you've saved my kingdom. Okay, dear listener, we are the, for the Uganda Matters program and today's topic is how the Catholics behaved among others of different religions and we have seen the, the royal pages they had no hatred had no hatred for the rest they were they were kind they were patient they lived in harmon and they lived as a family and i think this one is a challenge to us all how you know even the bible says um if you love only those who love you mm. if you love only your friends and you love only your family your mm. tribe how will that one benefit you because even heathens do that yeah. so we are being encouraged to to <laughs> be in harmony to live as a family to live in harmony with everybody regardless of their religion regardless of their tribe their color their whatever so i think i love this program i love the uganda matters because the life they lived is i think it's a mirror <laughs> for sure. us all <laughs> yes father hello Oh, we are welcome. If which wanga is civil, and money are all it is out. Yes, sir. Carol de Valley. My son of a baby, eh? Did the country very good baby? Hm. Yes, you are coming. Hm. Yamukongo, you are coming. Chitu of which I take a walk about. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, 
Yes, he okay. listened during the morning mm. reflection. Mm. Hello. Father Joseph. Good. Welcome. Daughter. Thanks for the program. Welcome. Father. Hey, Joseph, because I'm very good. Yes. Yeah. The, the presence of God. You are right. Yes. <laughs> His son, Jesus, and the Virgin Mary. You are right, Joseph. That I went to heaven, mm-hmm. the very no, narrow door, yeah. and a few people have managed to go through. True. That's true. The white hair is a wider one. That's true. And a great number of people That's have true. perished. Mm. So we need to pray for ourselves, mm. asking God for the grace. Yeah, you are right. Let's believe in Him, trust mm. in Him mm. as our God. Yeah, you are right. That He may take us to heaven. Yeah. As He did to Joseph, mm. Mukasa, and the rest of the saints. Thank you very mm. much, Joseph. Now in God's glory, rejoicing. Yeah. Sing God's faith. Mm. Faith. Yeah. Mukasa. Mm. Pray for us. Thank, Amen. thank you. Father, <laughs> Hello? it is a blessing mm. that the Pope is coming back. Mm-hmm. God willing. Okay. okay. Mm. So what interests me more mm. about the Pope, mm. it is the honor that is given to him. Mm. Mm. The vicar of Christ, yeah. his holiness, the uh, pontiff. And successor of St. Peter. And the bishop yes. of Rome. Aha, uh-huh, you are right. Mm. Mm. So, Father, you have a reason to rejoice. You, you are right, Joseph. What a great privilege, the people of Uganda yeah. and mm. the entire world. We are very much privileged. Yes, Father. God bless Thank you, Joseph. You, Joseph. Thank you so much. Mm. Mm. Yeah, okay. that's a very good compliment. Mm. Hello, mm. Radio Maria. Hello. Hello, welcome. Hey, Father Monge. Yes, please, welcome. And Justina. Justin. Hey, Justina, I'm so cool today, Makindi. Yes, sir. Choir member, mo 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 Nalina 24. Oh, that's why I told you that you were 24. and you were privileged to be counted among Habili the members. Habili Mwena. Habili Mwena Chitufu. Eh. Nila kulika nyo, 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 Justina. Nia nzisa mne nange mkama mweba za ulikasera. Aotio. Eh, kubanga nzani ya kuolwa. Yonge do kutu ulila kwe chari yo dada. <laughs> Tubuli de kwa katono. Wanjisebo. Tubuli de kwa katono nyo kuchojuki de chama nyo nyo chari yo. Nye nzijuki la. Hmm. Ha, ati ya livinji, hey. ya kakati wanu, haba kuru wafe, ba mm. bishopo haba vili, mm. bishopo uh, omu, uh, kombi katika kalvagezi. Chiwanuka ni dungu. Mm. Eh, mm. bali na evitawu ya bali batuwala. Mm, chitawu, chitufu, chitufu. Ewa eh, papa, nga wakule mbinga, baba kule mbe demu nga wakenda bombinga wakute. <laughs> haba ili evitawu ya wakute. <laughs> Ibdungu ya ina. Mkwali mkologwa. Hey. Chari chama njinyo. Mm. Ya, chitufu. Ngo chitunu ya kwekanu, obuli buli gabu, nchotu nuli ya ichima hao Olu susunga luku vako nunga mazani Ali wano, ee Ya ila chieja, anti, jota vichwa nuka ye ya liwa kute kata waza kabujia Ati bishop dungunga kute chitavo Aha What a memory Kala wo, dunga anti hamu, kama katonda wa amanyi Katonda yeba le Justin Okay Mm-hmm. Dear listener, that was Justin, mm-hmm. and that Justin was one of the choir members in Rome on the 18th of October 1964. Mm-hmm. Like she has said, at that time she was studying in Europe, and she was one of those organized by the late Joseph Chagambi into a choir. Mm-hmm. It was at that time, like she has said, only 24 years. I think um, she has also reminded me, Father. Mm, mm. I went to the Vatican when I was 24. 24? <laughs> I was 24 when I went to Rome. Is it providential or coincidental? <laughs> oh, <Both. laughs> my God. Providential. 24. Divine invitation. Yes, thanks be to God. <laughs> I, I was 24. God. We have mm. someone here. Hello? Mm. Hello? Yes, please welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome, Winnie. I could hear the voice. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Welcome. As I could, thank you. Okay. You remember um, that this Joseph Makasabali Kudembe led the church, led the church very efficiently mm. for 979 days. I want to note that, Father. He led the church. Mm for 979 days. Mm. That is to say, two years, 
eight months and three days. Two years. Eight months mm. and three days. Because remember, the missionaries fled this country on the 8th of November, 1882. And they returned later, after this time, after two years, eight months and three days. Mm. That was the return on the 15th of July, 1885. And to their surprise, the church had blossomed more than before. Mm. On their return, the missionaries were amazed at the unbelievable progressive results of the zealous Catholics whom they had been forced to abandon about two years and a half years back. Mm. The major results were as follows. Mm. A. None of the 20 baptized Catholics they had left behind had changed his or her religion. Mm. In addition, they had baptized about 170 at the point of death. The only permitted situation, mm. case of emergency, in which these Catholics were allowed to baptize. Mm. B. They had left about 300 catechumens only, but to their surprise, the number of the believers had tremendously boomed to over 80,000. Mm. They wondered, they were amazed. C. At the time the missionaries vacated Uganda, mm. the number of Catholics was statistically the least. Mm. That of the Protestants was the greatest, followed by Muslims. On the return of the Catholic missionaries, the number of Catholics under Joseph Makasabali Kudembe's administration had taken the lead with over 8,000. It was followed by the Protestants with about 6,000 members. The Muslims were lagging behind with about 400 and 500 believers. Mm. So Catholics first, 8,000. Protestants second, about 6,000. Muslims followed with 4,000 and 500 believers. Mm. But remember, it was only the Catholic missionaries that were forced to abandon the country. Mm. And coming back, they left. The Catholic, the Catholic, Catholic ideas were the second, but now yes. on their return the under the administration of Joseph Kasavali Kutembe, they were the first. Fulfilling John 17, I did not lose any you put into my hands. Ah. I've kept them and they are here. They are here. <laughs> <laughs> Our Lord is praying, uh, John 17. That's true. I have kept them. Ah, you've kept them. Yeah. Ah. I've not lost any that you put in my care. <laughs> that, that's a very good application. Yeah. Very significant. He did not lose any. Mm. He kept the baptized mm. and even more were added. Okay. D. The Catholic missionaries before leaving Uganda for Tanganyika had two classes of catechumens averaging to four persons per class. But when they returned, each class at Andrew Kagwa's home that had turned into a new mission had average, an average of 150 per class. Thus, the two classes totaled to an average of 3,000 catechumens. Five, when the missionaries left this country, they had only one place of worship the Lubia mission, Nabulagala, Nabulagala. On their return, the Catholic Church under Joseph Makasabali Kudembe had opened up several other centers of worship. One, Catholic Center at the King's Palace. Two, Kiwatule Catholic Center. Three, Mitiana Catholic Center. Four, Nsege Catholic Center near Boa in Bolemezi. Five, Masaka Saza. Count, Buddha County headquarters. Thanks be to God. But Father, help mm. me, remind me of those, um, the centers, centers? for catechism. Yeah, yeah. Chiwatu Worshipping way? centers. Mm. Ka the Catholic center at the Lubiri, at the palace. Mm. Two, Kiwatule. Yes, Father. Three, Mitiana. Mm. Four, Nsege. Where is Nsege, that's, Father? That's in Bulemezi, near Boa in Bulemezi. Bulemezi. Mm. Mm. Five, Masaka Kusaza. Oh. Mm. Masaka Kusaza. Okay, fine. Ah. These were worshipping centers, not centers. catechumen. Ah. Uh, you were also they okay. would they would offer uh, catechetical okay, instructions. Okay, fine. Mm, but generally they were referred to as worshipping centers. Oh, yes, fine. The first one uh, at the palace was under the 
the leadership of Joseph Mukasabali Kudembe. Mm -hmm. That of Kiwatule was under Andrea Kagwa. Mm -hmm. okay. the, the one in Masaka was under Matia Murumba. Okay, fine. The one of Unsege was under Murumba. Otherwise, at Mitiana, he was mm -hmm. also assisted by. Luka Bana Bakina. Uh -huh. And uh, Noah Mawagali. Noah Mawagali. Masaka. Masaka. This was where Bruno Serunkuma was born. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was also under Murumba's jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. But under Balikudembe's administration as head of the church. Okay. Joseph Mukasa Balikudembe was martyred at Nakivbo. He had his head cut off first, then he was burned. Nothing remained. We have no remain, no relic no remains. of Joseph Mukasa Balikudembe. Hello? Are we Yesebo. <laughs> 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 I didn't know my father. Father, Abaso ke dadala kada tumu jijo koko pili nakuuda koko matia mrumba na na balala kadi boba bana baba tiza ngaba ali baba tize e ati kerezi ya gamba dembudo bokfa father taliwo tuli ndi risa ndi ramazi gani wamu mtu wa yomuche ni yomu batize wewe bali Christopher wewe bali Christopher kufa yo wewe bali I think father that's a very important question. Mm. The, how the baptism took place. Can yeah. we have a baptism that is outside the holy yes. sacrifice of the mass? Yes. Because these Andrea Kagwa and the rest were not were not priests, ah. so even, there was even, no mass, eh. but baptized. Even mm. without mass, priests can baptize. Priests can baptize outside mass. Outside mass. Even a baptized Christian. But uh, for emergence. Uh, 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 that's in emergence. Emergence cases. Mm. Mm. Okay, Father. Yeah. Hello? Father, I'm going to Hey, <laughs> 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 Just in one minute, mm. tell us something about how he's because now we are talking about Joseph of Gaza, mm, mm, mm. how he strangled the python, what happened, how the python came about, just in two seconds because it was talked about, but it was in Uganda. Mm. Someone oh. mentioned it, mm. just something small about it in English, mm. you know. Mm. Mm. One time, Mutesa the first was sick. Mm. He was lying down, sick in his small hut. Mm. A cobra came. It was of about five feet. Mm. A Joseph Makasabali Kudembe was around. Mm. On seeing the cobra entering, Joseph Makasabali Kudembe got perturbed. Said, what can I do? If we are not careful, the snake will either enter the grass because they used to spread grass mm. in, in, on which they sat mm. and the kapaka might get threatened the cobra too might find its way into the grass or even attack 
Ah, so what he did, mm. he took, he, he determined, so he struck, got hold of it, strangled it, and threw it outside, dead. Wow. Dead. <laughs> and from that time on, mm. what um, Tessa said, now you've been praying, hiding in corners, but from now onwards, you are uh, free to practice your faith. Please don't hide anymore. Oh. Now you are at peace. And from there, you got the name Bali Kodembe. And people used to refer to them as those who are at peace. Mm. Those who are at, at peace. peace. Though uh, Bali Ko Dembe. They are at peace. Ah, at peace. Mm. And so this was told us by Joseph Okasoro, grandfather of the late brother Talsis in Sobia. Mm. And uh, brother Talsis in Sobia put it in writing. And uh, Joseph Okasoro assured us that it took place. Mm. It may sound queer, mm. but that's what happened. And Brother Talsis in Sobia, the one I used to work with in a program similar to this, he put it into writing and we can find it mm. in Sobia. 2006, the Uganda matters are our light I'd like to mm, quote the page. Mm. It, it's still very far. But otherwise, you uh, get it. In uh, Sobia, mm. 2006, the Uganda matters are our light. And you can find that. I think I can get it. Yeah. Mm. Page 45. Mm. Sobia, 2006. The Uganda Matters are Our Light, page 45. The book is available at Namukongo. Mm. The book is available at Munyonyo. The book is available at Nabulakala. The book is available, uh, I'm not very much sure, at Christ the King. It should be there. Mm. And uh, in St. Paul's. So ah, the Christians are at peace. Are at peace. <laughs> <laughs> we are supposed to be people of peace. Yeah. Because our ancestors, mm. now Joseph Mukasa Balikudembe, mm. his name was given by the Kawaka himself. Mm. They are at peace. Yeah, you, you are at peace. You are at we peace. are supposed to be people of peace. Wherever we are, should bring peace. And I got uh, Because you've done that, you mm. are the useful. You Mugas, are useful. Mugasa. Mukasa Gasa. Mukasa Gasa. You have become a, a, an important guru. person. Mm. Yeah. That that's the song mm. by Changambidwa. Joseph Changambidwa. Joseph Changambidwa. Mm. Mulabe Mukasa Gasa. Mulabe Look at the are they what? Mm. Yeah. Mulabe Mukasa Gasa. Behold Mukasa, Easy, the useful, useful one. Mm. <laughs> Mukasa. That's the song. Mulabe because, Mukasa Gasa. Because, because he named him, you are no longer Mukasa only. Oh, not Mukasa. Not because ordinary you, Mukasa. You are also Mugasa. You are no longer a, Mukasa an ordinary only. Mukasa, uh -huh. but now you are a, a special. A, a special Mogasa. Yeah. Church Agambidwa got mm. from the name Mogasa mm. and said Ogasa. Ogasa. You are useful. Agasa. Agasa. They are useful. There is. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello, father. Hello. Hello, father. I'm going to call you, 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 from California. Oh, California. Woo. Esther, I'm going to call you, Yes, father. We were called as a program to be a call. It's new me than you. We were in Nakazi, what among Ambandos or Mako Gujanzi Jayo? Come on up at Sassy to Tambulim with the footsteps of the Uganda Matas. Genda Mamaso, Waverly Nyabo, Waverly in your program. Waverly Kusima, Omukama Kuo Mokisa, a table number two lavi day. Amina Father. Radio Maria Administration Management. Eo kutuwe batu midemo ena. Abi California. Amina Father. Eda, mm. okay, ngenda kubawo omukisa. Bonobo jeko. Kasa, ngenda kukangu kuwa ele wago gugu. Patri, oh, ni muana, ni moyo mtu wikiriva kuwa omukisa gubele na we. Neboli na bo. Ari kusigali na mwe na kaziwe bangali ona. Amina. Amina. Kale, kale. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Maria. Maria, Hello. Radio Maria. Yeah, Kali watu na wejevali. Eh, nanyi 
Aha, oli ruiwa. Ndiwa no mbuya. Mbuya mukama akuwo mukisa mwana wange. Pat ne mwana moyo mtu kilivu. Akuwo mukisa mwana wange. Hale sana. Boston, Paji, mm. Harriet, Nakamanyisa, Sylvia, Chala Chigundu, Mukisa Michael, George Sebutinde, Mr. and Mrs. Muumba, eh, and others. Mm. I know you are listening. May God continue to bless you. Let's keep in touch. Okay, Father, may That's we what? conclude okay. the program. Yeah. It has been Until so nice. we meet in the evening, mm. beginning with the Mass at 7, then in yet another Uganda Matters program from 8.30 to 9.30 after the Rosary. I've been Father Joseph Mukasa Mwongi. And Gertrude Kialigonza. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Of your matters, your deeds are remembered throughout all the nations. Luanga is it on Kasa, your courage is in others, giving up your young lives for Jesus, your king. Fali kundembe machi amulumba, the rest of